Okay, hi. Uh, we're I'm Justin. I'm Lori. And we're here talking, doing the review for our level two class. In September 2015 at Wednesday Night Hop. So we're gonna have five weeks in this class. No, this four. is week five, four more weeks. Three more weeks. This is week number one. We'll discuss off after the class. Uh, this is the first week, regardless. We agree about that. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. So the first thing that we talked about was connecting with your partner. So um, for leaders, we said, rather than connecting, we'll show you from back here, rather than connecting when we're side by side with our hand here, particularly like this, we think it's better if you kind of cuddle up a little bit more. That doesn't mean our hips are touching. It doesn't necessarily mean that my hand is all the way around but it means that kind of like my hand is around as much as comfortable. And follows, what you're thinking about is not only making your back meet his hand back here, but also that you engage your tricep and arm so that you're creating connection on the back of his arm. Notice that I'm going to just kind of press a little bit in with the inside of my arm here to maintain that connection. And if he's taller than you, you might be up here, but try to avoid putting your hand on his shoulder. When you start to get um, nervous or stressed, you might end up pushing down on him, which causes a lot of strain on your legs. Cool. So then we practiced walking, particularly walking backwards, and this is particularly important for followers. So we did this, and then we went forward. Let's do it sideways. And we, Lori had some tips for walking, but the main one is that don't do this. Don't stick your legs out and then kind of do the <laughs> sneaky walk. The um, core is still there, I guarantee you. <laughs> right, so try to keep your core over your weight and then your legs kind of move with it. So if you think about moving your body first and then your legs follow, that will work a lot better. Um, the problem with moving your legs out is it forces you to kind of pitch your center forward and then it makes it more difficult to connect. So what I'm going to be doing is rolling through my foot here follows. I'm going to be, as I step my core backwards, I'm going to step down into my toes and then roll into the neutral part of my foot. Yes. And that will make it a little more, more graceful. Maybe, maybe we can let you do it without me touching you. So if I'm stepping backwards, I'm actually moving my core back first and then rolling into my foot here. Yes. Okay, so then we started taking this into eight count moves. So the first thing that we did was doing the eight count basic uh, in place, which looked like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. We'll show this from behind. Five, six, seven, and rock, step, triple, step, step, triple, step. Then we took it into a Lindy circle. We did the Lindy circle four different ways. So, Can you really quickly? yes. Don't forget that throughout this entire thing, we're going to pulse when we're moving. So we talked about how doing it just like completely smooth makes a less strong connection, a weaker connection. So you want to pulse into your movements even in an eight count basic in place. So it goes pulse, 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 pulse. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Lindy circle. Lindy circle. Um, first, we did it with a hand. So we start. Let, we'll start this time facing the camera and then facing the camera. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. That's that same eight count basic footwork that we did earlier. All we're doing is turning. And we had some tips for the leaders. Like, for example, don't look at your feet. Try not to do it. Like, kind of swaying your body in big motions. Um, and the tip for the follower was maintain connection in the back. Um, then we did it so that uh, we ended by moving backwards. So we'll do the Lindy circle starting like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's the first half of the Lindy circle and then walking backwards. We'll do it from this direction now. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that was Notice that I'm doing my brave moving backwards. Yes. So then we did both of these things with no hand, which we'll just demo. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. And the purpose of this was A, it's just a different move, but B, it's impossible to do this if you aren't connected. Then, swing out from close. Swing out from close, which looks like this five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll show this from the side. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, step, step, triple step. So we talked to the follows about your footwork in this. You're going to be rocking rock step, triple step, 
and then you're going to have a pivot. So your waist can be on your right foot. You're going to pivot 90 degrees, and then you're going to pivot again towards your right shoulder 90 degrees. This makes you step backwards, yes? So that's the time when you pivot, pivot, and then you're going to have your triple step at the end. So we'll show this. We'll stop on four, and Laura will show you the pivot, and then we'll move to five, which is the second. Five is the first pivot, six is the second pivot. We'll see. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, stop on four. Here's Lori's first pivot, and I also pivot with her, bringing my right shoulder back. Pivot. Now, the second pivot is Lori bringing her right shoulder back. Step. And then and we triple, triple step. So we'll show that one more time. One, two, three, and four. Pivot, pivot, triple step. What's important here, follows, is not to cross yourself. So if I were to do that same thing without my lead, it would look like rock step, triple step, pivot. You want to make sure you pivot so that your foot remains underneath your hip instead of crossing and then turning the rest of your body. So then we did this uh, variation with this um, where the leaders followed the followers and leaders walked forward. So that looked like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the purpose of this variation is to emphasize that we're not doing this. This is not what it looks like. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> right? So sometimes people have difficulty with the swing out because they feel like they have to move the follower in one direction while moving themselves in another direction. No, actually, you move in the same direction as your follower. In this move, it's very clear. I stay with Lori. But actually, even when I'm not doing that variation, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. It feels the same to me. So if you can do the first one, you should be able to do the second one, and it should be a lot more comfortable. The last thing that we did swing out. is open a swing out, open. open to open, which looks like this will do it facing. Do you want to start in open? Sure. Let's start from open position. So we started from swing out hands like this, and the footwork was rock, step, triple, step, step, triple step. That's the leader's footwork, and we said followers, you can either rock step or step step, depending on what you feel. Your default is probably step stepping because the leader is going back. I'd say that's like the most common thing that a lead does to me, but they can also rock step. So try not to overthink it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk more about the swing out um, later, but the main exercise that we did was stopping on four, two, three, and four. And we said that our feet were kind of aligned so that Lori's feet was her front foot was in between mine on uh, four. And then on five, five, we're a little bit more aligned, sometimes totally aligned. And then you already know the rest of this because this is just the swing out from closed. Six, seven, and eight. We'll work a lot more on this next week, but, um, but that's what we covered today. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.